our second video now that i've burned myself nicely on the pot all right you can kind of start to see the skin rising up a little bit that was awesome of your science teacher all right we are going to now look at convection heat all right remember convection heat is going to make the hot air rise and the cold air sinks so when you look at an air popper all right it's going to force hot air through the bottom with that fan all right and it's going to force the kernels to come up then the cooler kernels that are unpopped are going to be going down to the bottom they're going to be heavier but the cooler air then sinks all right so anything that's cooler is going to go down anything that is warmer is going to rise so all we do is we are putting our kernels in we're putting our lid on all right trapping it and plugging it in so here all right, you can see that it's rotating the kernels nicely. All right, I'm not going to make you watch this the whole time. I am going to hit pause on the video. But again, you can see that the kernels have a rotational motion to them. They're coming up and then sinking back down. Occasionally they shoot out. We're going to throw them right back in. All right, so again, here's the hot air going up and the cold air is sinking. How is this popcorn being cooked? By convection heat. All right, so this popcorn is going to slowly increase all of the temperature of the kernels. And this is going to be air popped popcorn with convection heat. I'm resuming the video because now we're going to be able to start seeing it. You're going to see the general flow of this. All right, that it's going to be forcing the hot air up. And the colder air is going to sink, continuously warming it up. Now it's going to pop even faster because it's trapping the air inside those convection currents even more. And then you get fabulous air pop popcorn. See if we get a few more. Let's see if it pops the last one. What's kind of fascinating is sometimes we'll get, oh, there it was. I was going to say sometimes you get a conduction last pop because once it sits on the heater, then it gets super hot. All right, just that one in there. Nothing's going to pop for us magically. All right, so there we have convection heat.